Okay, in this video we're going to look at using strikes with the elbow if I'm on top and my opponent has me in guard or a bottom controlling position. So Phil's going to come into that position now. I'm going to be stuck in this position, whether the legs are closed and wrapped around me or more in open plane in the hips from here or any other position in between. We're going to look at some basic tips for actually throwing the elbow strikes. Now we've done a different video on some of the basics of how you ground and pound and some of the things you would do to keep yourself in control and um, in a good defensive posture to make sure that this person can't get you with too many submissions. We won't cover that for a second, but from these positions, there's a couple of particular things that you can look at in terms of throwing the elbows. Whether we're going to the head or whether we're going to the body, one of the things that we want to do is make sure our arm doesn't get compromised and exposed as we're throwing them. So we're gonna keep the elbow itself very compact. And the thing I want you to think about is bringing this fist up to chin or shoulder from here. So you don't leave this hand out like this. This makes this area less compact. It will be less damaging when we hit the person and this arm's then exposed for counters and submissions. So keep this compact. So we're gonna bring it tight like this. Look, pinch it here, right in against your shoulder. Don't have to hold it or anything. It just pinches and stays up there. So I'm just gonna look at a couple from here, one to the body and one to the head. If I'm throwing to the body from here, pinch it up nice and tight so it can stay here so it's not compromised. Bang, I can be throwing this in from here and I wanna be really focused. So I'm gonna focus on these floating ribs from here, the smaller ribs at the bottom where I can potentially cause a lot of damage. I'm not for now gonna throw it to the body this way. One of the reasons for a second is because it's easier for Phil now to pass my arm across that center line. So I'm going to keep it this side. So I'm going to choose the ribs rather than the uh, stomach or the abs from here. Gives me a more vulnerable target anyway. This stays pinched in and then a nice rotation, bang, from here. So as we strike this one, don't just lay down on it from this position. Rotate through your upper body, bang, in here. So you'll be striking this one. Look at my right shoulder. Right shoulder, bang, comes up slightly to help that one come in. We've got to do all our normal defensive duties around making sure he can't pass my arms or legs, uh, legs around my head or anything else. But for now, don't just bang, lay down flat. Rotate from here to get maximum impact. Secondly, make sure you use the point of the elbow. This is an elbow strike, not a forearm strike. So we're gonna be getting this elbow in here. Last, just on the rib shot from here, slight angle upwards from here can be an advantage. It means that you've got less chance of hitting the more solid piece of the rib cage, better chance of causing some damage to the bottom here, and the arm's getting slightly less exposed as I'm doing it. So rather than winging it up like this, I can keep it nice and compact and get it in here. So right shoulder comes up, this hand stays compact, and bang, in this way. I can turn it over a little bit more if I want to, but really, this is a good way of throwing it without getting too exposed. Now I'm going to come up with the other hand here and I'm going to come to the head. One of the big advantages of throwing elbows from this position is that you can sneak them through the guard of this person. So if they're here and you're trying to swing punches in, they might be able to rock and roll with the head and block with the forearms from here. And if you throw your elbows in a normal kind of horizontal position, he can block these pretty well. What's very difficult for him to block is coming straight down the middle from here. We normally kind of refer to this as like a vertical position. So we're going to throw a vertical position with their elbow from here. Same rules apply. We're not going to leave this arm out like this where he can start taking advantage of it if he moves the head out of the way. We're going to keep it compact. So when we throw this, and I'm going to do all these from sitting up a little bit more so you can see it. We're going to compact this hand in Turn it over and bang, drive it down this way. So we're aiming again, point of the elbow into something nice, soft and fleshy that's gonna cut. So a nice bit of straight down vertical elbow action from here. So if I'm down and in and controlling for a second and I free up this arm, pinch it, roll it up and then bang, bring it down from here. And we're trying to just do a little rotation here in almost like I'm going towards Phil's chest. So from this position here, even if I sit up a bit and he blocks, I'm trying to sneak through the middle 
Bam, here. I must make sure that I'm disciplined after I throw it. If I'm here like this and careless, my arm's getting passed again. So as I come up, compact, bang, throw it from here, and then bring it back. Elbows, just bring them back into the ribs. And now I can start throwing combinations. Look, left shoulder comes up, bang, so I can hit this body shot, and then I can roll that left shoulder over, bang, so I can hit a vertical shot. And then roll this right shoulder up, bang, from here, and then roll the other one over, bang, from here. So try to compact the hand, point at the elbow, and then tuck the elbows back in again, bang, when you finish the shot. So they're always returning to a good position. Of course, you can blend it in with all kinds of other strikes as well. Bang, 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 from here. But those are the basics of how you might throw some nice, sharp, compact elbows that don't leave you in a compromised position.